Street Fighter. Hello everyone, how's it going? So, um, I want to show you guys how to install my uh, Street Fighter V uh, moves list app that I just created not too long ago. So, um, first off, if you haven't done so already, um, I posted a Mediafire link not too long ago. Uh, here it is, this will be it here. Um, download this app first, it's only like about 3.7 uh, megabytes, it's not too large at all. And uh, once you've downloaded that, um, you'll get this here. Well, you're not going to double click that, but you're going to get this here. And then what you want to do is go to um, my computer down over here. And uh, once you do that, you're going to see your phone. Um, I have a Samsung Galaxy S3, so it might probably say the same thing here for you as well, too. Or something similar, at least. But uh, double click on here and go to phone. Now, um, really and truly, it doesn't matter where exactly you uh, put it. But for this uh, demonstration, I'm just going to put it inside my downloads folder because it's like the most easiest and most convenient place to put it in. Uh, for you, it doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, you, you can put your app pretty much or wherever that you want. So uh, you're basically going to drag and click uh, the file here. Um, I already have it here, the same one. I'm just going to copy and replace it. Anyways, there you go. Now the app's on here. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to revert over to the uh, actual phone now and show you like what to do from there. This is like the only part you're ever going to need for the computer itself. Um, and just so you know too, this is only temporary for what I'm doing for now. Later on, eventually, um, I plan to get this on the Google Play Store, but since like I just want to get this app tested out and get some feedback from people, I, I kind of want to do that first before I get further on to putting this up on the App Store and all that stuff. So, uh, alright. I'm going to move on to the cell phone part. All right, so right now, um, what you're going to do uh, is you're going to go to your uh, settings menu on your phone. And then once you go to your settings menu, you're going to want to click on uh, more, depending on if you have a Samsung phone. Usually, uh, if, you, if you're not on a Samsung, if you have like a Nexus uh, phone or a tablet, for example, then you can go to security right away. There should be an option right there that will allow you to select security. But if you're on a Samsung phone, you'd have to select uh, more. And then you should see something that says security. Then once you select security, I want you to you have to scroll down to the device administrator um, settings, and you need to disable or enable the uh, install unknown apps. And once you do that, that should basically allow you to uh, in install the APK file for uh, the um, the Street Fighter Moves List uh, app. All right. Okay. So what you want to do now is open up uh, your file explorer that you have on your uh, device, and you want to select all files. This here will give you, or show you pretty much all of your files that you have on your SD card. And then you want to select the folder that you have placed the APK file in. Then you're going to look for the APK file, the Street Fighter Moves List, uh, beta 0.1. And then um, this here, you'll be prompted this if you have more than one uh, APK installer on your uh, phone or uh, dev uh, Android device. For me, because I have both Astro and the package installer, it gives me uh, both options. But you shouldn't be getting this. But if you do see this, just select the package installer and you can set it to always or just once. It doesn't really matter. Um, and then once you do that, you'll be prompted to this screen here. And uh, you're going to in select install. And once it's done installing, then uh, it will say done or open. And you, you can do either one. You can open it and then the app should uh, work for you right away. Now, um, I just want to mention, if you do notice any issues or if there's anything that you think I should add to it, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I also plan on creating a, a website with a forum on there too so that people can discuss about like the application, give me new ideas on stuff I should add to the application. And uh, yeah, I, I hope that you all enjoy it. This is my very first Android app that I've actually developed. I haven't made one before. And um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it and um, find it useful. All right, take care, and um, yeah, goodbye.